Hey everyone, it's great to be back. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I spent Christmas and New Year's overseas. My husband and I, we visited six countries and of course no European trip is complete without some luxe European shopping. My camera also broke on the trip, so today I'm filming on a completely different device. I do apologize if the audio or visuals are different from what you're used to. Today, I've actually decided to share with you the bag that I didn't buy overseas. This is the beautiful, breathtaking Gigi Beauty Case from last year's Autumn Winter Campaign. It's a stunning collaboration between Italian brand Gucci and British brand Globetrotter. And to my knowledge, unless you're VIP, the only way to get your hands on this is via online waitlist. So it did take me a lot of effort. As you know, I've already covered the history of Gucci in my Dionysus bag review. So today I'm going to touch on instead the history of Globetrotter. And let's dissect this bag under seven topics. Brand history, design features, size and fit, quality, accessories, my purchase story, and of course my verdict. There are two big thank yous that I have to say. First of all, thank you to the amazing Bagaholic Boy who first launched a sneak preview of this bag in July last year. And the moment I saw it, I knew I just had to get my hands on it. And secondly, thank you so much to my subscribers for joining me today. I love to hear your thoughts. I really hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. Globetrotter is a British luxury label which dates back to the 19th century. Although founded in Germany, it relocated to the UK in the 1930s and to this day, England continues to be their base for handcrafting and manufacturing. Due to their superb quality, dedication to craftsmanship and long-standing history, Globetrotter continues to be the luggage of choice for famous individuals like Winston Churchill, Queen Elizabeth II, Angelina Jolie, Kylie Minogue, Kate Moss, to name very few. As a highly respected and established luxury label, Globetrotter's collaboration with Gucci is far from the first of its kind, as it has also been linked to Hermes, Comme des Garçons, Vivienne Westwood, Tiffany & Co, etc. Globetrotter's style is instantly recognisable, and their designs are a fascinating fusion of hand finishing, traditional machinery that dates back to the 19th century, and also innovation, the most famous being the Vulcan fibre. Short for vulcanized fiber board, this material was invented and patented in the UK in the 50s. It consists of 14 layers of paper bonded together and colored, and results in a material as lightweight as aluminium but tougher than leather, with enhanced water and impact resistance. Globetrotter cases are renowned as tough, so much so that they withstood the elephant test at the Zoological Gardens in Hamburg, where the case was able to withstand the pressure from a one-ton elephant. Today, Globetrotter continues to receive 100-year-old cases for servicing, although it's largely just to have the interior linings replaced. So this really does speak for itself in terms of the quality and strength of their designs. Globetrotter's innovation continues in their color selection. While traditionally luggage was brown or black, practical for the long and dirty journey, Globetrotter introduced blue to celebrate the adventure of sea and air travel. Globetrotter's classic colours are timelessly elegant, but they also embrace modern twists and know how to have fun. Iconic Globetrotter design signatures include high quality leather straps and leather corners, superb finishes such as hand lacquered gloss, chrome plated hardware, and vibrant interior linings such as the cotton pinstripes within the Cruise series suggesting summer seaside living, or fine silk from the Orient collection. For special occasions such as the 80th anniversary of the famous fighter aircraft Supermarine Spitfire in 2016, Globetrotter also released exterior prints with sky blue interior, identical to the aircraft. In their Mayfair London flagship store, you can complete the luxury experience by ordering bespoke luggage according to your preferred colour, lining, leather and wheel selection as well as with or without initials. For the last two years, I've been searching for two design features which I currently don't own in my bag collection one of which was a bamboo handle. For those of you who watched my Gucci Dionysus review, you will know that this was a 1947 invention as Italy was faced with a shortage of materials following World War II. 
Gucci's response was to pioneer bamboo as a replacement for leather as it was readily available from Japan and surprisingly malleable under heat. I love this touch of bamboo as it's so uniquely Gucci and a testament to their history of creativity. The other design feature which really captivated me was the trunk aesthetic. Louis Vuitton has been seducing all of us with their various trunk inspired bags. Whether it be the hat box or city trunk or trunk clutch or tiny charm and of course the most famous petite mouth. I personally haven't fallen for the petite mouth. The price is very steep for such a compact piece. And secondly, I don't think the proportions look quite right on the body. It works well as a hand clutch, but hanging off the shoulder resting at the hips, I find it looks more comical than elegant. Strangely, I probably sound hypocritical. I prefer instead the chunkier proportions of the Chanel Lego block clutch, which has an intentionally playful persona but then you're looking at almost double the price of the petite mouth, which makes it even more unthinkable. In order to have the trunk aesthetic at a more reasonable price, I was considering purchasing a vintage Louis Vuitton cosmetic bag and simply carry it around like a handbag. However, not only was it difficult to find one in good condition, but the short handle, significant size and probably heavy weight makes me doubt that it's comfortable for regular use. Plus, I only really like to carry my bags hands-free or off my arm. That's when the GG Beauty case entered the scene and offered the perfect solution. It's not a superficial trunk aesthetic, but literally a trunk design. It carries all the quality and craftsmanship of Globetrotter with the sassy flair of Gucci. It can be worn three different ways. And also as a tall yet narrow profile, I find that it's flattering and comfortable when it's worn against the body. Although there was limited information available online, I do believe the beauty case is made in the same style as other Globetrotter luggages, which means a frame in ash wood, Vulcan fiber beneath the trademark GG Supreme canvas, leather trim with matching leather detachable strap, and fabric interior lining. The hardware is palladium tone and lockable via separate set of keys. It is a smorgasbord of high quality materials and fascinating design features which packs a lot of personality into a small handbag. Since the bag is a neutral colour palette generally, your eye is drawn straight away to the richly warm bamboo handle. As an organic element, it feels beautiful in your hand and its natural imperfections contrast perfectly with the precision of the manufactured canvas and leather details. Design-wise, the brown-grey hues of the canvas and leather are classic and sophisticated, bearing connotations of tradition and old-world exploration. And performance-wise, they're both finished to be hard-wearing and practical. They've managed to preserve the natural grain texture of the leather while achieving a perfectly smooth hard surface so that it's highly scratch and impact resistant. The Gucci canvas feels the same as my Dionysus canvas. There's a fine texture underneath the fingertips and the cotton fibers have been sealed with polyurethane to achieve stain and scratch resistance. The same leather features in the detachable shoulder strap and internally as the brand tag and hinge accessory. Although in these three areas, the leather is finished differently from the hard, smooth corners. Now it's pebbled and tactile, which is appropriate for a more gentle design application. The palladium tone hardware is a perfect match for the soft brown grey hues. It's fresh, elegant, clean and crisp. For those of you who watched my Alma Bibi review, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of loud red interiors as it feels like a big yet secret celebration whenever you open your bag. I love that they've done it here with the GG Beauty case. The red cotton has a texture when you run your hands along it, and the vivid colour feels incredibly indulgent for an otherwise restrained and polite bag design. Apparently Globetrotter are huge fans of removing internal organisation so that you have ultimate flexibility in terms of how you're going to pack your bag. Later on, I'll do a separate video which takes you through exactly what you can fit inside. The Gucci inscription and edge detailing on the clasp are beautiful subtle details and the clasp is really easy to navigate. All you have to do is push down on the key lock for the mechanism to spring open. 
The JJ Beauty case is the smallest of three sizes offered within the Gucci Globetrotter GG line and measures 24cm wide, 17cm high and 12cm deep, with a 6cm handle height measured to the top of the handle. The other two sizes are medium and large. In contrast to the beauty case, both the medium and large are offered in two colour options, the classic beige ebony or black, which has matching black leather trim. As stunning as luxury luggage is, I cannot justify it because I'm middle class. They're expensive, they're inevitably going to get damaged, they draw attention to you as a pickpocketing target, and I typically don't travel by luxurious means. Sure, there's the occasional international business, and I am excited to say that later on this year we're flying first class to Europe, but aside from that, it's typically economy, which is much more aligned with your standard off-the-shelf travel baggage, which I'm not going to cry over when it gets abused. For those reasons, the closest I'm ever going to get to luxury luggage is via a miniature trunk-inspired handbag, and that's exactly what I'm getting here with the GG Beauty case. While I typically like to carry my bags off my arm, here the low handle height means that I can only just slip my wrist through, and it's not very comfortable because the ridges of the bamboo are resting on your bones. The detachable shoulder strap is adjustable in length with three holes. For my height and size, I think the shortest length works well for both crossbody and off the shoulder. Although since this bag is not light and it is a block, that does mean it doesn't exactly mold to your body. So I would only feel secure wearing this bag crossbody as otherwise it can easily slip off your shoulder and hit the ground, which would be everyone's worst nightmare. The hardware clasp is easily within reach so you can operate with just one hand on the go. Unfortunately, it's less comfortable once you open it. The trunk lid and handle are quite deep, so they jut into you when you flip it open. If you want to fully open, you will need to commit both hands with one holding the trunk away from your body so it has the room to perform a full swing. Among luggage makers, Globetrotter trunks are renowned as lightweight, however that's not really the case in the handbag category. Empty, this weighs one kilogram. While it may be competitive against other trunk designs such as the LV Boyd Flacons, which I was previously eyeing, it does mean that when you compare it against your conventional leather or canvas handbag, it's a serious weight commitment and it can be unbearable to carry if you're packing it full. With its array of superior materials, the GG Beauty case sings a union of the sophisticated, high-quality craftsmanship of both design houses. On Gucci's end, the bamboo handle is smooth yet firm in your grip, and it's got a diverse, evocative colour spectrum. The canvas is as beautiful to touch as it is practical in surviving everyday wear and tear. On Globetrotter's end, all leather details are trimmed by hand, and it's a five-day process to soak, press, and dry them. All rivets are done by hand, and this technique takes years to master. All hardware is pristine, and I love the way the clasp mechanism springs open when you release it. It's really dynamic. All leather edges are cleanly sealed. I believe there are only two areas in which the quality fell slightly short of my expectations. Since this is my first time owning Gucci bamboo, I do wonder if the cracks are a standard sight which add to the texture, or will they present an issue as the bag ages? We all know that timber expands and contracts with temperature, and so I do wonder if bamboo behaves in the same way, because if so, that means the cracks may deepen over time. If you're the owner of a vintage Gucci bamboo, please share your thoughts on how your bag is aging. The other factor was that my red interior had three spots in which it looked like the thread had been pricked. The essay I spoke with said that it was probably because they stored the accessories inside and maybe one of them had slightly scratched the lining. Of course it's not a deal breaker since it's just three little spots, but I generally expect a bag to be perfect when it's expensive, there's so much hype and there's a wait list. Not to mention that when I pack this bag and I have my belongings bouncing around inside, does that mean that my lining will keep getting more visibly worn? If that's the case, then no wonder Globetrotter has to continuously service their trunks for new linings over time. Gucci's policy for all their products is an international two-year warranty. If I have any issues, I can take it to Gucci in any country and they will have my purchase date registered in their database. 
Finally, as is standard with all luxury bags, Gucci's care booklet recommends that you keep the bag away from rain and also from prolonged heat and light exposure. If there ever is an accident, take your bag straight back to Gucci as they recommend against DIY care products which may likely void your warranty. For those of you who've watched my video on how to care and clean your luxury bags, you will know that you don't want to accidentally transfer skin creams from your hand to the leather or canvas. Here we have the additional material of bamboo which is a real mystery to me so please share in the comments below if you know if skin cream is also something you don't want to get onto your bamboo material my GG beauty case came with a gift bag gift box dust bag care booklet receipt case two lots of keys and detachable shoulder strap the dust bag is a ridiculous size when I first saw the original dust bag, which was the correct size, I noticed it had quite a big scratch. So I asked my SA if I could have a new one. He agreed, and when I left the store and returned home, I realized he had given me this. Is this how passive-aggressive essays tell you not to ask for anything and not to be picky? So someday when I have time, I'm going to head back to the store and ask for the correct dust bag because otherwise my handbag is swimming around in this fabric every time I try to use it. The keys are adorable. They're thick and chunky. They have solid weight about them and it feels like old school adventure. I wonder if I should find a way to attach these keys to the handle as an accessory? One factor I find strange about the shoulder strap is that the two surfaces are treated differently. The outside is the pebbled tactile leather grain, which I spoke about earlier, while the underside is literally the leather underside. I wonder why they chose to do this instead of having the natural leather grain on both surfaces. The underside looks a lot cheaper, so that means that when you're wearing the strap, you actually want to check it's not twisted, or else the difference in aesthetics is quite obvious. The hardware looks clean and beautiful, but of course this is before it's covered in micro scratches, since it will continuously rub against the rings on the bag. It's pretty easy to get your strap onto the ring, you just push it against and it will automatically open. Getting it off is a bit harder because it's quite a snug fit, so you're going to see me fiddling now. It's no secret that I'm a proud bargain hunter and I absolutely refuse to pay full retail price for anything. Unfortunately, when it came to this bag, there weren't many options available for me to buy it for less. I first discovered this bag in July last year and I thought that was perfect. I was headed to Europe in December and I could buy it tax free. However, when I emailed the Gucci store in each of the cities that I was going to be visiting to see if they had stock and if they could put it aside, they all gave me the same answer, that the Gigi Beauty case was not available in store. One very random day, months later, I discovered how to check Gucci stock online using their website. And when I looked at this item, it showed that on that particular day, there were only five countries worldwide which had this bag, one of which was Australia. So I rang up the Sydney store and they said yes, that was true. They ordered it in for a VIP customer who upon trying it decided it wasn't right for them. If I wanted the bag, I better rush in and grab it straight away because it was not going to happen again. And that's exactly what I did. The next morning I was lined up even before their doors opened. Otherwise, my only other option was to do an online pre-order. Full payment occurs when it ships and it can take up to three months for you to receive your bag. Online, the Gigi Beauty case retails for over 2,700 Australian, just under 2,000 US dollars, and just over 1,500 pounds. It's basically the same price, just converted between all the different currencies. Every label offers limited edition collaborations, and this is my first time being a part of that experience. I used to think that these seasonal collections were to inject some surprise and fun into a label, but now I realize that it serves a very unique purpose. It's your chance to own the label you love without being sucked into a mainstream trend. Plus, you get the taste of another creative designer who innovates and evolves the label you thought you knew. It's one slice in time, a very unique moment which no one can rewind to, and that moment belongs to you. 
From that perspective of limited edition stock and limited access to the stock, buying designs from one-off collaborations can function as investment pieces, rare and desired as collector's items. Since this is my first time dappling in that strategy, I'll keep you updated on whether the GG Beauty case holds much higher value on the resale market when it's no longer available to buy from Gucci. Although I adore the design and the quality is generally top notch, my overall feeling is that the Gigi Beauty case is more to be admired as a proud display piece rather than to be actively used. First of all, there's the awkward weight, not only in it being so heavy, but also that the inherent design means that this bag cannot stand up unless you weigh it down with something inside. Plus, when this bag is empty or near empty and you carry it by the shoulder strap, it has a natural tendency to flip sideways. You know, whether, that, whether this is a case of where the side rings are placed or the style of the strap hardware clasp, I feel like all these design issues should have been resolved in a bag that's almost 3000. With so many hardware components, this bag has a tendency to clang when you're walking. Uh, it's not a deal breaker for me, but it's definitely a very different experience from your typically silent handbags and can be a little bit embarrassing when you're dressed very elegantly to be constantly squeaking. Finally, I do love the protective reinforced corners. There have been a few times where I've accidentally bumped this into an obstacle because it is a block that juts out from my body, but unlike my other handbags where I'd be fussing over the damage, I know for sure here there's not a single sign of impact. It always looks flawless. While I'm happy with the length of the shoulder strap and for my height I wear it at the shortest option, I find the location of the clasp in the near middle of the strap to be super awkward. This makes it highly visible. But why would Gucci want to show this off? The convention, whether it's a cheap bag or expensive bag, is that the clasp is always located towards either end so that it's subtle and you don't draw attention to it. Fortunately, the clasp is not sitting on my shoulder, which would be a deal breaker, but in this high position, it's still tight against my skin. As you already know, the internal lining has been nicked in three spots, supposedly from the internal contents bouncing about. But as I've used this bag more, I have to admit the lining is the only part of the near indestructible bag that starts to look used. We're all fans of cotton, but somehow here, where I assume maybe they glued it, the way the edges are finished, the way the cotton fibers capture minute differences, it just results in a fabric that looks like it's aging. Otherwise, aside from the durability of the cotton lining and the fact that it looks like they've taken some shortcuts with the strap, both the clasp location and the untreated underside, my last concern over quality is just how durable bamboo is over time and whether these cracks will deepen with temperature changes. Looking at Globetrotter's signature vanity case design, they offer an inbuilt combination lock which makes it a lot more practical versus having separate keys. Although I'm going to let that one slide because I love the feeling of the weighted Gucci keys. However, the only other design alteration which doesn't make much sense to me is how the GG Beauty case does not have any feet, which the standard Globetrotter vanity cases do have. Sure, the leather and canvas are durable, but it makes so much more sense to raise this off the ground and keep it protected. Ending on a positive note, out of my entire handbag collection, the GG Beauty case is hands down the easiest hardware to open and close on the go. Unlocked, it's completely fuss free and you only need one hand to slip in and out. Aside from the constant clanging noises and the slightly uncomfortable strap and the awkward weight, it's a major win that there's easy practicality for you to access your content on the go. Although do note you can only access them at a slight small angle as you can't get the lid fully open when it's against your body. If you love the idea of high quality luggage, but like me, feel that it's a bit too indulgent for your style of transit, then owning trunk inspired bags can be a great way to dapple in the feeling and the style of luxury travel. The trunk aesthetic has been going strong for a while now, and I believe it will likely continue. It carries a sense of travel, adventure, history, romance, and culture. 
Finally, I do wonder what was the purpose of Gucci in forcing everyone, unless you're VIP, to only attain this bag via online waitlist? Why not have some stock in some flagship stores, especially in London, which is the base for Globetrotter? I checked with Gucci staff and they confirmed that they didn't even have this stock in London either. My guess is that perhaps the marketing was to build an image of prestige and exclusivity rather than real issues of availability. But if you know otherwise, please share in the comments below. Ultimately, while I do believe luxury price tags are more marketing than real value, here with the Gigi Beauty case, I do believe the pricing is fair considering the immense reputation of both brands involved and also the level of craft and materials shown. Sure, it does have flaws in terms of everything everyday practicality, but for such a beautiful handbag, the dream that I have been waiting for, I'm willing to look past its awkward weaknesses and focus on its strengths. The Gigi Beauty case is one of a kind, equal parts Gucci and equal parts Globetrotter. It's durable, elegant and filled with beautiful design features. I hope you get to take yours all around the world. Hey everyone, so that brings me to the end of my Gucci X Globetrotter GG Beauty Case Review. If you're thinking of adding one to your collection, I really hope you found today's video useful and interesting. Next month, I'm excited to share with you the first of my purchases from Europe. Continuing on my handbag shopping spree, it's my first ever dream metallic handbag from Bulgari. Can you guess the model and the color? Have a great month. I'll see you again soon.